Okay, so I'm going to explore this website that I've set up for gigapanography, and I'm going to uh, uh, zoom in on some things here for you. Uh, first of all, I want to pick, um, this is the website itself, the URL um, that I'm using uh, is um, available through uh, a click on um, the link uh, with regard to um, this particular uh, website. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, one of the options here that has to do with um, exploring GigaPan images. So we're going to go there. And now what I can do is come over to some of these. And for example, um, there is um, a um, painting at the St. Louis Art Museum. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, click on that link to bring up that particular um, gigapan image that I took of a, um, now you can't use a tripod uh, in the um, art museum. So you have to handhold. And then I took, I zoomed in on the painting and I took various um, pictures. In a, and then I overlaid in Photoshop on the gigapan this description of it. So this is the description, um, a fantastic uh, view of uh, Tivoli by um, the French painter Hubert uh, Robert. The ruined round temple from the early first century BC is traditionally identified as dedicated to the goddess Vesta. The temple was a popular destination for the 18th century travelers. Tourists would visit it en route to Hadrian's Villa and the renowned 16th century gardens of the Villa de Esta, located approximately 20 two miles northeast of Rome. Hubert Robert was, has added the rickety bridge and a uh, toiling worker to enhance the scene's dramatic impact. Let's zoom back out and take a look at this amazing painting at the art museum. And you couldn't actually um, zoom in on this image with your eyeballs to see the detail we're about to see. But with the zoom lens on the camera, and the stitching of all these together now, we can see this gentleman here who's pulling along to uh, try to remove a log. And we come over here from the pathway and we see a dog and uh, some um, of the visitors. And we can zoom back out. We can go back up and look at the uh, rickety bridge up there see what's going on up there on the rickety bridge. A little bit uh, treacherous to cross, looks like. And uh, zoom over to the other side here. And then we can zoom back out again. So this is an example of how to use gigapans to help uh, if you were an art teacher or you were um, wanting to explore uh, painting with some students or just for your own benefit to explore uh, some of the amazing works of art. This is one way um, that one could uh, go about doing that. Okay, so uh, just an example, and uh, uh, we'll uh, take a look at some more later.